Well, Pastor Mark Biltz of the El Shaddai Ministries Church out in Tacoma, Washington, has come out now with a statement talking about the mark of the beast, parents and their kids. We're going to get into all the details of it, guys. Before I go any further, though, I got to give a shout out to Michael because Michael recently became a $5 patron here at the channel, helping to support with a monthly donation. And guys, if you enjoy what I do, you can help me out as well by going over to patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 20 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You guys get the alerts for anything that goes out on Patreon, unlike on YouTube, where you will not be notified of all the videos that I put out, even if you have that bell selected because YouTube doesn't like me. But guys, I know you like me. So when you get done watching me here, browse back and check what you've missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, Pastor Mark Biltz, he sat down for an interview when he was talking about the mark of the beast and the Antichrist. And this is according to Biltz. He says that he believes that parents are going to be running to get the mark of the beast for their kids. Now, I took a look at this statement and I said to myself this. First of all, the mark of the beast is not like you're going to be just going to the store to pick up the newest iPhone that came out, okay? They can't just go and pick it up from the store and bring it home and, here you go, kids, here's your, your mark of the beast. You're going, it's, it's cool, it's, 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 it's going to be trendy, it's technology, and you can access the internet with just your thoughts and everything like that. I mean, we know this when it comes to the mark of the beast, that... It's not just a mark you're going to take. You're going to have to actually renounce Jesus Christ as well. So there's a couple things that go along with that here. So you're not just going to be able to bring it home to your kid. So I, I took a look at that statement. I was kind of like, what are you, what are you talking about? Man? The other thing is this. As far as the kids go, I'm of the belief of a pre-tribulation rapture. Now, that's not what this video is about. I've done a whole separate video giving my thoughts about that. But... I am under the belief that there is going to be a pre-trib rapture. Also, I believe that children under a certain age, an age of accountability, will be taken up in the rapture. They will not be here during that seven-year time period where the tribulation is happening. Now, what is that age exactly? Something 12, something 13, maybe something 11. It just depends. If they're at an age where they understand you know, really what it means to have a relationship with Christ, you know, then they would be, you know, accountable and they would have to give their life to him. And then, you know, yes, then you may see those, you know, preteens and teenagers that would be left behind here. But if we're talking about kids like, you know, under 10, under nine, I'm sorry, but they're not going to be here during the tribulation. They just, they will not be here. So parents are not going to be able to just go out and, and here you go, kids, here's the mark. You know, you put it in your hand. Here, look, it's itself. You know, we can install it ourselves. That's not the case. I, I just, I can't buy that. I just, I cannot buy that at all. I believe there's going to be, you know, certain enforcement centers set up to where people are going to be required to go take this. And also, like I said, renounce Christ, but pledge their allegiance to the new one world religion that will be the religion that the Antichrist and the false prophet that they institute during their reign here during the tribulation period. Now, Biltz also said that he believes that there's a possibility that the Antichrist could possibly be some sort of a, you know, a, a human mixed cyborg, you know, with this AI sort of intelligence and everything like that. And I, I don't really buy that either. I do believe that he's going to use artificial intelligence. Now, if you take a look at what the Bible says about creating an image unto the beast, that people would be required to worship that image. I do believe that that could be referencing AI and that you would have to worship this AI version of the Antichrist. But I don't believe that the man himself, the man of sin, the man of the son of perdition is going to be some half cyborg, half man. I, I do believe that he will be a man. And I do know and believe that, you know, especially at that three and a half year mark, he will become, you know, fully incarnated with the powers of Satan. At that point, but I, I don't believe he's going to have any sort of, you know, a, a cyborg or, you know, AI uh, in him. I just, I just don't. But again, if he's possessed by Satan, he's not going to really need to worry about being, you know, part cyborg in that moment. So a, a lot of differing opinions on this. I, I just, I bring this up because you got to be kind of careful what some people say. I got nothing against builds personally, you know, great man of God. We all have different feelings on how the end times are going to play out as it comes to the mark of the beast, the antichrist. Uh, the rapture or no rapture. But at the end of the day, 
Let me close with saying this. The most important thing, and I think this is something that we can all agree upon, is that you have to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because no matter what you believe, as far as eschatology goes, like I said, whatever it is, rapture, no rapture, Antichrist is going to be this or that, how is the mark of the beast going to work? If you don't have Christ in your life as your Lord and Savior, if you have not accepted him, if you have not repented of your sin, you will not gain entry into the kingdom of heaven. And I do. I think that's something that we can all agree on. That is so important. If you're watching this video right now, if you've never accepted Christ, as your Lord and Savior. I encourage you to do so today. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. You don't need to do some long, drawn-out prayer. You can just cry out to him. Ask him to forgive you for what you've done. Invite him to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior. Say that you want to follow him all the days of your life. And you can be saved. You can begin that walk with God. And no matter what happens, no matter what happens, you're a child of God. You're going to be with him for all of eternity. And that is something to definitely be excited about. But guys, let me know what you think about all this down below in the comment section. I'll put some more information on this in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.